Right then boys, what is going on lads? Welcome everybody back to another video, another player review. Today we're going to be checking out Foot Captains, James Waterprouse, and honestly I am excited. This card looks absolutely phenomenal. For only 120,000 coins, he's been in packs for not even 40 minutes, 36 minutes to be exact. So obviously he's going to be more expensive. I can see this dude settling at around 80 to 90,000 coins if I had to take an educated guess. Lads, if you guys do enjoy, make sure to drop a like and subscribe. Especially a like because now that EA remove the dislike feature, I've noticed people have been have less reason to like the video. But trust me, liking the video does help push it out. So make sure to drop a like and subscribe for play reviews, objective guys, and the, or the occasional pack opening if there's a new pack we'll always open it lads let's get into the review so today we're looking at a five foot eight card high high work rates which is phenomenal as a box to box he's four star four star really nice pace solid shooting finishing and positioning is not crazy but 96 shot power with 93 long shots is going to be phenomenal you look at his passing and it's just it's yeah it's not a ward browse card without 99 free kicks but disregarding the 99 free kicks look at those passing stats might just be some of the best passing for like with no chemistry style applied on the game 91 vision 98 crossing 94 short passing with 93 long passing and 98 curve his dribbling is solid his agility and balance will do the job with 85 and 86 his ball control of 93 is really nice defensively as well he could get the job done and physical wise very very solid as for traits the traits that will affect his in-game performance honestly i think early cross the team player and solid player they are all just like traits that would only matter um and, and like you know career mode and stuff so he's got no flair trait no outside the foot shot trait anything like that now, for the chemistry style, there will be, when I say controversy, there will be lots of different ideas. Now, I'll show you guys why I have gone for a Hawk. We're going to start off with a 4 3 2 1, and we're going to have him literally as a box to box intimate on balanced attack and balanced crossing. Now, I think a Hawk is the most suitable thing. Gives him that strength boost, gives him that pace boost, and gives him that shooting boost. But if you were to play him as a defensive minded box to box, then I think an anchor. Is what you're going to want to go for all right so if you're using him as an attacking minded box to box go for a hawk if you're using him as a defensive minded box to box then you'll want to go ahead and go for an anchor quite self-explanatory for example with a hawk um as you can see he goes to a 91 center mid and i know with an anchor we have a look he's also a 91 center mid right so a hawk anchor generally doesn't matter obviously you'll go for the anchor if you're going to be using him more defensively and the hawk if you're going to be using him more attackingly then we found a match we are flip my fan down a little bit let's have a look boys we are playing foot champs finals so it's probably going to be sweaty now i rate the fact he's got three arsenal lads very nice team very very nice team i did forget to mention i've just had a look he's got the average body type in game preferably it would have been lean but at the same time we can't pick and choose everything right first impressions with him let's just pass that down um as expected the pass is just pinpoint where i want it ward prowse with a nice hold up as well Okay, now I'm not blaming Ward Prowse for that. I have no clue. <laughs> We've passed it to Zidane and he literally ran out of the way of the pass. That, that makes absolutely zero sense. That is not his fault. That's just the uh, poor in-game mechanics. Go on, Ward Prowse. Keep pushing up a little bit. Ronaldinho will send it over to him. Can he run into it? Not quite the positioning from Ronaldinho. It, it kind of feels like uh, a, a one-man team right now, you know. Ward Prowse, he's got the ball. He's trying to set up a pass and Ronaldinho and Zidane are not making it easy for him, are they? Ward Prowse with an interception. I rate that. Back to him. I'm loving his high, high work rates, bro. He passes, he runs. He passes, he runs. Puskas. Ronaldinho Puskas just had to leave that ball for Dinho there. Hey, he keeps going. That's really nice ball control. Back to him. Over the top. That's beautiful. Ronaldinho. I mean, now I look at it, it's not the most crazy ball. But once again, it is like a one touch over the top. So it's never going to be too easy. Feels really responsive on the ball as well. Oh, War Prowse drop back. Let's see what he's got going for that slide tackle, and he wins it as well. That is lovely. Going into the half, boys, honestly, really solid performance from him. I'm loving the high, high work rates. He's veered defensively. He's getting the interceptions. We've had 0.0 .0 expected goals. To be fair, it's been a very end-to-end -end game. Um, I don't know. We're just struggling to, to create chances. We may have to go to our 3-5-2 soon. Now, our 3-5-2 is going to be working as a right centre mid on stay forward. So, once again, an attacking minded centre mid. That's just the position he is, right? Bro, I, I love these work rates, man. 
I love these woo crates. You guys can see it single-handedly as well. I won't cut any of that for you as well. So you can literally see he's there holding position in the box. Name, I couldn't quite get that through. He's there holding position. He's making the play. And then he instantly sprints forward. And his there is an attacking option as well, man. He is everywhere. It's given me Kante, UCL final vibes, bro. He is literally everywhere. Ward Prowse up. Nice. Puskas. Neymar. This could be well worked here. Neymar stays on side. Delivers it. Forces Zidane. A little bit lucky. Is it going to fall in? Oh my days, boys. That was uh, very jammy. Now it's the 65th minute. Um, you know what? We're not really creating chances with this formation. We're honestly not. So, we're going to go attacking. Now, as I said, Ward Prowse as a centre mid, but the instructions on him is to get forward, all right? So, an attacking-minded centre mid. Sure, he'll be pushed back a little bit more, but as an attacking-minded centre mid, there'll be no worries. I think we're going to sub on Reese Nelson at right mid as well. I think he can do the job, all right? Let's go. Attacking time, boys. We're pushing for the winner. If we lose, it's a high-risk, um, high-risk, high-reward situation. But if we can do it, it will look absolutely amazing. Back to Ward Prowse. We need a hero. Can it be Puskas? Around. On his right foot. That's a penalty. How is that not a penalty? It's not a penalty. All right. Well, I thought maybe, maybe he got hacked behind. Affected the shot a little bit, but nah. Gone Ward Prowse to Puskas. To Neymar. Ronaldinho around. Get that shot near post. Another corner. Boys, this is a very good game, man. I've got no complaints. It's a good game. My opponent's defending well. Let's put Ward Prowse on the corner. Jeez, look at those corner stats. 99 power, 99 free kicks, 98 curve, 98 pins. That's ridiculous. We can chuck this in. Can Ward Prowse be our assisting hero? Go on. To Marquinhos. Brings the keeper out. I thought Marquinhos might have actually ran forward there. That's extra time, boys. I mean, honestly, what a first half of football. I, I cannot complain. I cannot complain. I think we've been a better player in the first half. Both of the expected goals. My expected goals have gone up 0.8 from the second half. His have gone up 0.6. This is a bloody good game, lads. It is a bloody good game. What I can say with Ward Prowse, by the way, very impressive. Very impressive. Proper box to box. High, high work rates is great. Passing is next to none. It's like the best passer I've actually used on the game so far. Feels like, especially the right bumper plus left bumper, a hard pass. So accurate, man. So, so accurate. Um, let's get into extra time, boys. This could be anyone's game. Ward Prowse, Ronaldinho, Ronaldinho, oh my days, well he's so close once again to Ward Prowse uh, getting that winning assist. Go on, one more. Oh, oh my god, oh my god, oh my, all right, lads, 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 oh my days, oh my days. That is absolutely phenomenal. Takes a deflex, but I don't care. Oh my days, that is that is limbs. Lads, 15 minutes to hold off. Wow. Holy damn. Holy damn. Surely that's game. Surely that's game. What a performance. Oh my days. The clutch. The clutch. What a performance from uh, Ward Prowse. What a goal from Zidane to win it. Mixed emotions. I'm very happy. Very happy. I, bro, I usually don't take foot champs this deep as well, but that was a bloody good game. This James Ward-Prowse was absolutely phenomenal. He is the man you want as a box-to-box -box midfielder. Attacking-minded, in my opinion, is much more suited to him, but he definitely would be able to do a job as a defensive-minded uh, with that anchor applied. Honestly, all in all, lads, we're going to start off with the pros. We're going to say high, high work rates, four-star, four-star. We're going to say well-rounded. By that, I mean 85 pace is good. We're going to say 96 shot power and 90 93 long shots, his 95 passing is literally phenomenal, and as well we're going to go 93 ball control and 95 stamina, the only con, is there a con about him? Honestly, if I had to take a stretch and think about, mm, is there a con with this Ward Prowse card, it is probably, I don't know, if I had to guess boys, it is, he got pushed off the ball a little bit, that's, that's a nitpick, I'm not even going to count any cons, because that is a, a massive nitpick, right, um, 80 strength, 85 with a hawk, um, I think he goes to 90 with an anchor, but being 5 foot 8, obviously you're not going to win most, you know, shoulder to shoulder challenges with a bigger centre back, but that's just, you know, that's expected, right? And that's a real, if I had to nitpick to try and find a con, I would have to say maybe he gets pushed off the ball a little bit, but that, that's, it was not noticeable enough for me to consider that a con. All in all, lads, what an absolutely phenomenal card. Rating out of 10, I'm going to go ahead, boys, I'm going to give him a 9.6 out of 10. What a card, what a performance, and what a game.